Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. This is the reading for the week, October the 4th. We're going to do um, just a little reading to see what is going to be highlighted. And we'll see how that goes. All right, for money... Money, we have the Tower, Relationships and Love. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And for um, luck, we have the Six of Swords. And for the challenge, we have the Four of Cups. And the underlying energy is the Magician. That is really good to remember. So first, let's get started, and I'm going to do a clarifying when we get done. So first here, we have the tower for our money and work. This is saying that stuff that we've done in the past doesn't really, it isn't really working at the time. It's time to tear it all down and start again. This is a wonderful card for the tower. It's very different from you know, what we're used to seeing, um, this is basically, this is a major arcana card. So this is very important in stating that there is something that's happening and something that's going on. Um, it's out of your control. You can either go with it and you can allow this change to happen and to work with this so it can benefit you uh, better, or you can be drug. This was, this is going to happen um, for this money and work. Uh, this could be saying that you need to find a different job. Maybe you're in the wrong field. Um, tweak your resume a little bit if you want to go in a different direction. But with the tower, this is saying that, you know, we need to we need to build our foundation stronger so that, you know, we can have um, a better structure. Now... For relationship and love, we have the Knight of Wands. And this is, um, Knights are always messengers. And you will see how he is. He's carrying something. He's bringing something to you. So this is about enriching, um, doing things that's going to en enrich and, and to enrich your relationships and partnerships. And this is his love as well. This is also telling you that you need to do more. You Not really do more, but do those things that's going to solidify it, uh, the relationship. You need to work on making sure that it is going to have a firm foundation. Foundation, foundation, foundation has been coming up lately. So our next card, which is luck, is the Six of Swords. And this is saying that you are indeed going away from hard times and hard struggles. Uh, you may have help. Uh, someone is helping you um, find the way and find the path to do that. So this is a really good card because when you're starting over, when you're having to uh, redo some of the stuff, you're having to go back over it, change is happening, obviously. It's always good to have somebody that can help you out, get your foot in the door, um, kind of give you some guidance that can help you. This is always a, a good card to have in that instance. And for the challenge, we have the Four of Cups. And this is very different from what we are used to seeing in the Four of, four of Cups. But basically, Four of Cups tells you, you know, the Four is the building blocks. And we can't work in our life properly without using everything that we have at our fingertips as a resource. We have to look at our resources in a different way. Instead of be it money or this or that, look at your skills. Look at what you do. Um, this is, you have to make everything work together in order to have, you, you know, in order to succeed in what you're wanting to do. The underlying energy, which is very important, is the magician. And this is basically saying that, you know, you are the creator of your life. Um, 
today is a, an example of what yesterday was and so forth. What you do today will echo in the future. We have to understand um, we don't like to take responsibility for ourselves and we don't like to um, understand that there are consequences to our actions. For every action, there is a reaction. For everything that you do, there is going to be a come out. There's going to be um, something come of it. It may be significant or it may be huge. Either way, there is always an outcome to your action. There is always um, a reaction. And for some clarity, We are going to use our Messenger Oracle cards, and I'm just going to shuffle these just really quick, and just going to pull one out and see what it has to say. I'm making a mess of all my cards. Look at that. So, we're just going to do this. Let's see what we have to say here. Where are we going to stop? Where are we going to stop? There we go. Let's get this one. What does this have to say? Oh, wash away your burdens. Okay, so if you're hanging on to some things, the best thing you can do this week is to let uh, some burdens go, some things that's been holding on to you, keeping you back. Uh, this could be um, connected to this card right here, the tower. There's something that's holding you back, and there's something that's keeping you from going forward, from... Um, it's, it's a burden, so it's holding you back from something. So it's time to release those things, and it's time to let them go. See the water flow? Let it flow. Let it go. <clears throat> the lotus is a beautiful flower, and it comes out of the mud. We have to remember that. So that is your reading for this week. If you would like a more extended reading, if you'll contact me, um, I can hopefully get you in. I will say that I have not been doing a lot of personal readings lately because I just really haven't had the chance and there's so much that's been going on in my life that I just, you know, I, I want to give everybody my utmost uh, attention and I can't do that when everything is going on and there's some like crazy stuff happening so bear with me on that I hope you enjoyed this reading please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll always be notified when I post a new video and I appreciate you thank you so much and I wish you many many blessings